afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armel, and I'm reviewing the play of the day here today, which is Rad, which was the play of the day in the Stocks Will Show Live Trading Room. Amazing job by me today, by the way. I did predict the target accurately. I said 7.65. That's where it went. Dream target was 7.30, but as the morning went on, and on and on and on and on and on, the stock was falling very nicely. And then I realized that I wasn't going to hold it to 7.30. Could this still go to the 7.30? Yes. Am I out of this? Yes. Would I have held it at 7.30? No. It's too late. You don't want to be anything today in the afternoon. There's an FOMC minutes announcement. Also, 7.65 was a target. Look at that. I mean, that, where do I even come up with these numbers? Like, well, I'll tell you where I come up with the numbers. I get them off the chart. I get them off the chart. 7.65. There, that's where I got it. This is, look, that's where it went. That's it, that's the target for the day, it's too late. And this could have gone to 7.30, but I think with a minutes announcement out, it's not gonna get there. And I also like to trade in the morning and be done. And I had a fabulous day. I was very aggressive today and this was size. Took my normal risk, except for the fact that to take the amount of size that I took in this stock of this price point is aggressive. At the position and the timing that I did it, Stock opened, rallied, held, had a lower level of resistance than I ever could have imagined it to hold, and yet I did it. I did it. I took 10,000 shares of the short right there at 8.11. Boom. Put the stop at 8.20. People ask me, do you use stops? Of course I use stops. You know why? Because I had 10,000 shares of this. And if this had reversed above the high of the day, which it set the first five minutes, which I really wanted it to, and this was perfect, by the way, then... I don't, I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose some crazy amount of money. I have a set risk. Okay. And that's it. I did a great job today in, the, in this, not only reading the gap and I rated the gap and the gap rated very well. The gap rated 21 points today in red. I have a golden gap rating system that teaches me what stock to trade each day. And by the way, there were three things to watch today. And guess what? This is the one that worked the best and the only one that really worked. The other three didn't even set up right. So I did the best thing. I'm giving myself a round of applause. And I had an amazing day. I made over $3,000 today in this. Why? Because I held the entire position all the way down. And actually what's really hilarious is that I could have actually made, I could have actually made even more. In fact, let's just figure out how much more I could have made. I mean, if I had held it to 65, I got filled at 77 minus 65. Well, I could have made another $1,200, so I'm not going to cry over spilt milk because I did have a great day, and I made well over $3,000 in this today. In fact, here, I'll show you my P&L, uh, but let's go over it. So I took it here, and it dropped, 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 and I really wanted to hold it, and I wanted to hold it through the break, and I wanted to hold it as long as I could but I had to time it with the time of the day. And usually out by 10 o'clock, this kept going and going and going and going and going, and I wanted to stay with it. It was an experiment for me to take this kind of size and hold it as long as I did down. This could have collapsed off a planet when it broke around 80-ish. Here. It didn't. It kept selling off. It went to the target, but what I wanted it to do was collapse off the planet and go right to 7.30. It didn't. So then when the time of the day hit, and it didn't collapse off a planet under the break. I just, I, I was watching then the time of the day and I took it. So, and then the money, of course, which you have to money manage yourself on the live day. Look at this. This was a beautiful gap today. It is having institutional selling in it. On top of that, I knew no one on the planet would be buying this today. I knew no one on the planet would be buying this today. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to hold it for the fact that it was going to continue to sell off and I knew if I had gotten out of the position then I wouldn't have been able to get back in I just wouldn't have been able to get back in because it would have killed my price here's the money I made in that today it's amazing to make that kind of money in a stock that's worth you know eight bucks this is what I do every day so let's quickly look at the gap in red by the way, this has nice follow through. This will get to 7.30. This is actually a swing trade. If you want to take this as an overnight, you can take it. Here you have the chart. I looked at this this morning and I rated the gap. 
And let's just read exactly what I said I wanted this to do. I have this on the gap worksheet. How do I want the stock to set up in the open? Is it gapping too far? What is the correct ideal entry? And again, I made all this up. The worksheet, the rating system, and it, and it works so beautifully. This is, this is how I'm doing so well, making money and teaching people how to do that. I wrote that I, you can't go over 835 max, preferably 830. So I was really giving this like quite a bit of room. It never even got anywhere near there. I would like to see a rally first, which is what it did. I would like to see a rally first. If it doesn't rally, the hard stock has to be over 830, unless it breaks $8 into the open, which it didn't. But it did rally first, which I wanted it to. Has to set up by 935, 940, which it did. Here it is, set up in the first five minutes. Again, I'm very good at reading this time period of the day. This is, this is, I excel at this, and this is very, like, no one on the planet knows how to read stuff like in the first five minutes like me, and that is what tells you what the stock's gonna do. I can look at the first five minutes of a stock or the market or a stock that's gapping and tell you what it's gonna do in the entire day. That's, that's from trading gaps for seven years, and that's how I know how to do this. Yep, that's what I said. And this did all the right things. So this was perfect. I had a great trade in this today, an amazing day, and it's been kind of a slow week with the holiday. Things are picking up. The fall trading season is here. Earning season starts soon. We're watching Adobe tonight. Adobe is earnings out tonight. We'll see what that does. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. Congratulations to everyone that was in the live trading room with me today and took the trade in rad. We had an open house today. A lot of people there. I did a great job with this, holding it with my entire jimungus position all the way down. It's practice for me to get to the point where I'm starting to really tally up the numbers here. One of these days, I'm going to have a comma days with several numbers in front of the comma. <laughs> because if Rod had dropped a dollar today, well, let's just figure it out. In an ideal world, if Rad had gone to some crazy number today, which was not likely to happen because of the FOMC minutes announcement, but if Rad had gone to $7 today, with which which was one of the targets okay after 7 30 it would have broken went to seven but it would have had to open and swoosh or we would have needed the market or just something without the minutes happening later because the market was too sideways anyways if this had played out that way i would have made eleven thousand dollars in this trade that's outstanding it's outstanding <laughs> it's outstanding that day is coming for me and it is on the horizon before the end of 2015. so stick with me everybody that wants to learn how to short and anyone that wants to learn how to go long, why? Because I'm calling the market long, the market's higher. And guess what? I love to short, and yet I'm telling you the market's higher. How do I know all of this? Because I trade golden gaps. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.